Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending October 11th. This is a rather slow news week in science, so I've been waiting to do something like this just as an individual subject. First, before I start that, I would like to mention again about the Diamond Black Fan Anemia Association. This is a fellow writer, Brand 7701, a child of hers has this disease, and it's one where uh, in a lot of cases, children don't get to see very much of their adulthood because of the disease. And if anybody is interested in donating, I will give you a link to her video with also other approved people that are selling stickers. I know some of you are into the collecting stickers thing, so if you want to collect a sticker from a fellow moto vlogger and also support the Diamond Black Fan Anemia Association, just follow the links down below. And you can also... Um, send your donation directly to the Diamond Black Fan Anemia Organization. I'll put that link down below too. Um, I don't typically do a lot of videos about donating and nonprofit organizations, but in the case when it affects a fellow rider or a member of their family, um, I have no problem mentioning it or even mentioning it more than once in some cases. So this is something that is uh, at least very important to uh, people that are suffering with this, and it is a very uh, much an orphan disease. They call those because there's so few people that have them that trying to get money for research and to find a cure is very difficult to do. So um, thank you for taking the time to listen to that a little bit before we get started. My subject is gadgets and specifically I'm going to focus on gadgets that you carry with you at all times. These are gadgets that I have with me all the time and I will do them kind of roughly in the order of importance, um, especially the ones that are the most important. I'll do the first two first. This is what I have on my person at all times, even if I'm not wearing a, a coat or a jacket. If I'm wearing a coat or a jacket, I even add to this list. But here, let's start off with, in my front right pocket, this is kind of like your standard Swiss Army knife. It's uh, one of the less expensive versions. You don't need to really spend a lot of money. I've actually bought the more expensive versions that have a, uh, what is it called, a corkscrew and a Phillips screwdriver on this end. Not really very useful for the extra money, so I have actually found that this one has, I think this one is the Tinker or the Spartan, I can't remember which. Either one, I, I buy both of them, either the Tinker or the Spartan. This one has a large regular screwdriver, along with obviously a bottle opener, and it has a can opener, works very well, and a small regular screwdriver, but it also functions as a pretty decent Phillips screwdriver, as long as you don't have really small Phillips screws, so... Typically also has your, I think all pretty much all of them have this, your toothpick and your tweezers. And I have a lot of use for it. So actually if I was down to having to only carry one thing, if I had jeans and only had one thing I could put in my pocket other than my wallet with my money, obviously it would be the Swiss Army Knife. So that's the first item. Next item, and this is secondary in importance, is my left back pocket, lots of rubber bands. These, so many times, are able to hold something that has fallen down out of the way, attach something, put something together. I mean, this just has a multitude of uses. Typically, I don't have quite this many. I just recently refilled, but typically, I think I, I usually carry six to eight rubber bands. And I used them one time when I had the, the rear brakes on my bicycle. Uh, the weld broke, and so I just used the rubber bands to tie it up out of the way and just got by with front brakes. So that's it. Number two is rubber bands. Number three, and this is something I just recently added and I've been carrying for the past couple of weeks. I wanted to find the right kind of pair of pliers that I could actually comfortably carry. They'd have to be small enough to comfortably carry in one of my pockets. and uh, But also, um, I wanted them to be large enough to be useful. And this is the pair that I have. It's an old, actually made in USA. Just ordinary, ordinary pliers. Ordinary slip joint pliers. They have a little part there where you can actually even use it as a cutter if need be. You can use it to cut a piece of wire or whatever like that. But yeah, just ordinary rounded slip joint pliers and they do fit comfortably in my pocket and don't really take up much room. Not that heavy. So I always have two sets of screwdrivers with the uh, Swiss Army knife and a pair of pliers. And these can even, if you also carry with you like I did rubber bands or if you carry electric tape with you, which I'll show you that in a minute, you could actually use these for a get-by set of uh, vice grips too or clamps. You could, you know, not as good as the really having the thing with you, but, you know, you got to be able to figure out what you can actually carry comfortably. So, a pair of pliers in my front pocket. Also in my front pocket, two pens for writing stuff down, and extra in case somebody borrows it. I always, this is the one that I let somebody use 
This is the one I keep myself, and as you can see, it's got three foot of black electric tape wrapped around it. Get the good quality stuff. Get the good 3M black electric tape. Don't get the cheap Chinese stuff that's like 50 cents or a dollar a roll. Get the good 3M stuff. So I always have three foot of electric tape with me. Multiple uses with that, as you know, I mean, you can anything from repair a hose, repair an electrical connection, hold something together, whatever. So I've got that last thing. Besides, I'm not going to show the loose change in my right front pocket. Pair of nail clippers. Not just as a pair of nail clippers, you can also use these for other things. I've used these to cut small pieces of wire. Also has a file attached to it, too, which you could use to actually not just file your nails. You could use it probably as a, maybe a piece of sandpaper, what you would use a piece of sandpaper too. So, and I also use them to clip my nails too. Okay, that's everything in my right pocket and my left pocket. Always, always, always carry at least three wadded up paper towels. Not just for wiping up stuff or when I, I end up up on top of a ladder or something like that and get something on my hands, I can grab one of these out, wipe my hands with it, throw it down on the ground. I still have a couple of extra left. You can also use this, believe it or not, it, if you go into a restaurant or something like that and you sit down on the little uh, throne and they did not, nobody filled the roller, the roller, the roller dispensers with uh, regular uh, toilet paper. I've used it in a pinch. Sure better than uh, not being able to wipe, so always have three sets of paper towels with me. My wallet, obviously, which is just where I carry my money, no real gadgets in it. And wrapped up in another paper towel in case I run out of paper towels. Always, if you can carry extras and they don't take up extra space, wrapped up in a paper towel. Not only reading glasses, but they can also function. These are 3X power, so they can also function as a 3X magnifying glass. Not so good as a fire starter. I tried them out and uh, don't really work that good. I think because as small as they are, I think to, to do a, a fire starter, you need a pretty good set of, pretty good large magnifying glass to focus a lot of rays. This doesn't quite do it, but still works as a magnifying glass or reading glasses. And that's all in that pocket. In my back pocket, on the other side, I have, most of this is just notes, but here is a piece of paper to write down on if you have two pens but you don't have paper to write on. And I'm always needing part numbers or dimensions or something like that. So I always have a paper to write that down on. Also fold it in, the sheet of paper, two paper clips. That can also be used for a piece of wire. You wrap it up with electric tape, you straighten it out, wrap it up with electric tape, and you can actually use it for a piece of wire, jumper wire, something like that. So you can use it to connect two things together. Use it for bailing wire to wrap something, straighten it out, and use it as a twist tie to wrap something together. Okay, inside the piece of paper, piece of medium sandpaper. And I dropped something there too. I also had something else in there too. So a regular piece of 100 grit medium sandpaper come in handy for so many different things. If you want to clean uh, some corrosion off a of contact, something like that on the road, and you don't have something with you, um, you can use a knife to just scrape it or something like that, but to clean it really well. And this, and this also fell out of it. Just a regular old one inch wide band-aid. So, and all of it, these kind of things, they take up like zero space. I mean, you've already got the folded up piece of paper that you keep in your pocket to take notes with anyway. So why not just go ahead and fold in piece of sandpaper and clip some paper clips to it. Okay, that's all with my pockets now. I also have a utility belt and uh, it's actually what it is. Let me actually do it. To, oh, wait, wait a minute. I got one more thing first. This is also on my clipped onto my belt at all times too. I used to have two of them. I had one attached to my keychain but it broke off. It was a little one that's about a three-footer. This is just a small 12-foot Stanley tape measure. you got to watch it. They make a couple of models of these. They make this one is the slender one that I think this is half or three-quarter inch. They make another 12-footer that's got the regular wide, wide tape, and that doesn't fit on your belt so well, but this really um, doesn't take up much space, and it's very easy to carry. So the small, slender model of the 12-footer from Stanley. And then let me go to my key ring. That is where I had the other Stanley one, but as you can see, it broke off somewhere, so it's lost and gone. So, wasn't quite so satisfied with the quality, at least the quality of the chain. While I used the, the tape measure itself, it worked out pretty good. Got a USB stick. I think this is a 4 gig stick. 
Uh, the 8 gig sticks are really cheap now, so go as much as you can. This is just another bottle opener and can opener kind of deal on my key ring. Um, a magnet. I'm always working with different kinds of fasteners, and I'm not sure sometimes is this a stainless steel fastener? Is this aluminum? Is it uh, regular ferrous iron? So I always carry a magnet with me too. And also a flashlight. And this one is nice because it's got different features. You can turn on and off. You can turn like that too quick. And it goes down to a dimmer mode. And then you go three quick. And it does flashing. So you could even use it on emergency roadside. You could set it off to the side if you think you can't get off the road enough and uh, not have somebody hit you. So you can use that as kind of like a, a warning beacon. Also, the way I sort my keys, I have two sets of key rings. So the way I sort my keys is a big help too. And it has saved my butt a few times because... I don't know if you guys do it, but I have locked myself out of my car a few times in the past. It doesn't happen anymore. Reason being is, there's one set of keys to the car here. There's another set of keys to the car here. So even if these set of keys is locked in the car, I've got another set on me at all time. I, one or the other is with me, and the other one would be in the car. Also, a complete duplicate set of my motorcycle keys. I have one with the motorcycle, but I put it in my back pocket. If I should go inside, drop it, lose it, misplace it, there's a complete second set of both of my motorcycle keys on these key rings too, besides obviously many other keys. But always, I have any kind of vehicle that I am traveling with, I always make sure I have more than one key and they're not on the same key ring. It'll save you the cost of a locksmith or having to break into your own vehicle or whatever if you're stranded on the road or maybe having to have somebody, maybe you're 20 miles from home and have to call up somebody and have them bring the spare key out. So arrange your keys that way. Okay, I'm going to show you one of the pouches that is clipped to my belt. This is the first one that is on my right. It's got a regular belt clip and it slides in. This carries my GoPro camera wrapped in another paper towel to keep the lens from getting scratched. Since I am a moto vlogger I always have at least one camera with me at all times and actually in most cases have two. This is my GoPro camera. It fits inside my helmet so I have no need for the case. So the camera with the extra external microphone fits right inside, right on top of my chin bar. So that's my one camera I carry with me. Also, this has a little external pouch for a spare battery. In case the battery is low, it seems like over half of the time I go to start filming with the GoPro camera and the battery tends to be low. So here's another fully charged battery and another fully charged battery. And... A spare SD card. I've also took off getting ready to film something and realized I left the SD card in my computer because I was doing some video editing. So I'm on the road, I want to make a vlog, don't have an SD card for the GoPro camera. So now that problem is solved. So this is clipped to my belt on the right side. Now we will get to the left side of another pouch that is on my belt. And we're coming to the end pretty close here. Thank you for being patient. Here is my other one. This is for one of those super large smartphones that is almost as big as a tablet, but I put my smartphone in it, a fire starting device, just a typical Bic lighter, so if you can do that. Also, I'm thinking of possibly adding another fire starting device on my keychain too. They've got those that hang from your keychain, but at least have one with you at all times. And a spare backup camera. Now this is mostly my still camera, but it does take HD video, so uh, even though that's what I use it for all the time, if for some reason my GoPro would stop functioning or become lost or whatever like that, I could continue making a video with this one. So it functions as a good video camera. Excellent still camera too. This is a Sony CyberShot. Um, don't know the exact model if you want to ask about the exact model. The only reason I even bought this, I think all the Sony CyberShots that are about I don't know, over 10 megapixels are fine, so the only reason I particularly picked up this one is it was a refurb on sale for uh, like 89 bucks or something like that, and at the time this was rather new, so if you wanted to get a newer one it was getting close to 200 bucks, so I figured take a chance with the refurb, it ended up being in excellent shape. So anyway, what I would like from you guys, if you possibly could, I would prefer if you could make a video of the gadgets you keep with you at all times and the reasons why, some explanation of what you use them for or anything. If not, at least post in the comments. Maybe post your favorite or most important two, three, five gadgets you keep with you at all times and the reason why. So anyway, that's about it for this week. Take, you, take care, guys. I will catch you next week.